Good morning, everybody. Um, it's Alan Manel, and I'm talking to you from Casper, Wyoming. Um, I've been making some video series just about my spiritual journey and what God's been doing in my life. And, and if there's one thing I've been learning in the last five years is the power of the grace of God, the power of the love of God in my life, the power of, of the bigness of God. And it says in Nehemiah chapter 4, verse 14, don't be afraid of the enemy. Remember the Lord who is great and glorious. So this scripture says to me that there's going to be times when we're going to be afraid of our enemies. I discovered in the last year that it, there's about 365 different times in scripture where God says, do not be afraid. Even in the Old Testament and the New, when God's men and women were going to go take territory, an angel of the Lord would come and would say, don't be afraid. But it goes on to say that the Lord who is great and glorious, remember him. I think sometimes the enemy wants us to get our eyes off God and to not remember who God is. To remember that he's the one who said, greater is me that is within you than within the world. And so I just want to encourage you today to not be afraid of the enemy. But the way to not be afraid of the enemy is to remember the Lord who is great and glorious. I'll tell you, the last several years I had opportunities and events and situations that came my way where I could have been truly afraid of the enemy. And sometimes the enemy did look really big. But what God has been teaching me is that I am already seated in heavenly places. That who I am I, in God, lives from a position of victory, not trying to get victory. I've had the Lord undo lies in the last few years. I've had him tear some things down in my life that were just totally unscriptural and even elevated the enemy in my life. So friends, I want to encourage you that as the year of 2016 is coming to a close and you're wondering what 2017 is going to look like, Nehemiah 4.14, this is your scripture. Don't be afraid of the enemy. Remember the Lord who is great and glorious. Remember God who is great and glorious. Remember the power of Jesus's blood. Remember the victorious sword of the spirit, which is his word of God. Remember that God hasn't given you a spirit of fear, but he's given you a spirit of power to defeat the enemy, love, and a sound mind. Well, I love you all, and I look forward to talking again. Bye!